Hello. If you didn't get a chance to watch my first introductory video, my name is Michelle Simons and I have your child this year in Math 11R or Algebra 2, which is a Regents class. So it's the third, or I would say the capstone in the classes that they need for college, because um, all schools expect you to get or have taken Algebra 1, Geometry, and now Algebra 2. If they're a junior, the next year they have the opportunity to take the OCC pre-calculus course or one of our statistics classes. This year, uh, we have these main units of study. So rational expressions is the unit that we're currently in. We will be solving equations next, so all different types of equations, uh, then functions, exponents, logs, polynomials and trigonometry. We've added in, or we'll have some mini units. Okay, the first one was factoring and that unit was review. We'll do a mini unit on complex numbers, quadratic sequence and series, probability and statistics. Material unit for the class. So everything is handed out on, on a piece of paper so they get note packets. So that's why they need a three ring binder to help keep everything organized. A graphing calculator, highlighters or colored pens in their Chromebook and earbuds. Each section for this class, so I have three sections, there is a Google Classroom. So this happens to be my block three class. They're all the same. And the this is a screenshot of the stream section. So these are where all of the notifications are posted. So I just recently posted the answers to day four homework, but anytime I drop something into classwork section, which is where you'll find the daily class agenda, the uh, video of the lesson, so if they were absent, and sometimes the homework sheet will be posted there as well. Every class, okay, the structure is the same. So we always start by going over the homework, then I teach the lesson, they have some opportunity to practice in class, and possibly even start the homework. So here's the sample agenda from September 23rd. It says go over grade and hand in the homework. So I have them self-assess their homework performance. So it's out of five points. They put their score at the top of their page and I may override it based on what I see. Are they copying too much down from the board when I go over it? Um, I'll walk around throughout. And again, I'll notice that they didn't have it done but then copy my work. We'll have that discussion, but they can assess themselves before I um, provide or give the overall final homework assessment. Notes, as you can see, classwork and the homework. So everything is listed here on what we did in class. So if they're absent, they can use this as a guide. Grading. So practice, which is any uh, homework, classwork, activity, that's 20% of their grade. Quizzes and algebra sets are 40% of their grade and their unit tests are 40%. Now they can do test corrections and get up to half the points they lost back. Quizzes, they cannot, but we are allowing for unit one only for them to do quiz corrections if they fail to get a passing grade. And then the algebra sets are take home assessments in which they can get a 100. So I say that's easy 100 because they can have it checked by me they can get help from me uh, to make sure that they're doing it correctly. If your child's struggling, first check to see if they're doing their homework assignments. It's very important that they practice and they should do their homework the day they have math. Okay, don't wait till the study hall before you have math class in case you have questions. That way if you're doing it the day it's assigned or if they're doing it, they have some time to get help and they don't know if they need help until they try doing the practice. Encourage them to seek help in class and after school. We also have math homework help, odd days blocks one and four, and even days blocks one and three. So we have a math teacher stationed in the library for any kid that comes in and needs help. They can watch the lesson again if they need to, really slow it down and pause. Work in study groups. If they're discussing the math, they're learning. And if they need to, we can look at hiring a tutor. So ways right now that they can currently improve their grade, 
um, they can, for the factoring unit only, again, do quiz correction so that they achieve a 65 or a passing grade. We wanted every kid to start with a passing grade. Um, so that's why we're doing that. And then work to get that 100 on the algebra set. That's really going to bring their grade up. Uh, make sure they do their test corrections. And I also offer class participation points. So I think it's also great for students to hear another person explain how to do a problem. So I'll often invite some students up to the Elmo to go over how to do a problem in class. Things you can do at home. So students have forgotten how to study and um, how to basically create that schedule and just overall to be a better student. So help to encourage your child to do the homework that I need to sign and create that help create that schedule and environment for them at home. Encourage your uh, child to seek help, uh, to form a study group, to check to make sure that they're using some sort of tool to keep track of when their quizzes are. It should never be a surprise because they're told when their next quiz or test is gonna be. And then uh, keep lines of communication open with me. So if we're working together to do whatever we both can to make sure they're successful, then they'll be better off. Here is, so if you're not coming into the building for open house, I thought I would include a screenshot of my classroom. So here's a picture that I took uh, if you're standing at the doorway facing in. So there are some materials up here. You can see all the desks are three feet apart. My station's up here and you'll have a better view of that from here. So this is in the back corner looking at the doors. So this is where I teach from. I like to face them and have more of a conversation uh, as I'm teaching so I can see their facial expressions, notice if, it's, if I'm moving too fast or if I just said something that's confusing. Um, I don't like to have my back towards them. And this is where they'll come up for those class participation points. If they would want to go over a problem, they can just drop their paper under the dot cam. So any point this year, please reach out if there's any questions or concerns and we'll do whatever we can to help your child to improve. But I'm really looking forward to working with them this year, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good night.